will redouble with Rochambeau at the rendezvous. Oh, the battle is next week. What can I bring you? The usual. A musket, sabers, and wear that frilly uniform I like, the blue one. Certainly, General, but surely we will need to eat something, yes? There will be cannon fire, flags. Let me bring a dish. Fine, fine. If you have meat, bring it. Maybe bring a loaf of French bread. Oh, I make the best smoked white fish. You have never had fish until you have tried it. Great. Can we get back to talking strategy? We'll encircle them, and then we'll, we'll starve them out. We, oui, General Washington, have your men dig a series of parallel trenches over here. General Hamilton, attack this hill over there. And I will bring this house. Excuse me, General? What, you need this house? I cannot imagine anything worse than a white fish without this house. Worse than swamp leeches and falling on your bayonet? He'd rather not fall down on his baguette. <laughs> Sir, you can be impaled by shrapnel. That is disgusting. I'm shrapnel intolerant. Tell us about my insides. Lafayette, war is no picnic. Well, the cow's not. We just pitch a tent and make campfire and jokes. How do you get an American to be serious? Tell him to stop yanking my leg. <laughs> How do you make a French fry? Sit next to his mother-in-law. <laughs> Did you not hire an entire drum line? Do you not have a little boy to play a flute in the battle? Yes. Lots of people lying in the glass? That's enough. Okay, uh, I get it. I see your point. Yes, these breeches are a little tight. How about some wine and cheese? This is silly. The plan is to stand in a line and shoot one another. Your wine has to be better than that swill that Jefferson serves out in Monticello. Oh, mon ami Jefferson, how is he? He's sitting this war out. He's hiding out from the Brits on his mountaintop. Uh, Lafayette, uh, can, can we get back to the seriousness at hand? There are worse things than death. We, oui. Like when you get gunpowder suit on your nice uniform. When it starts to rain and everything gets all moody. Or when it's really hot and the perspiration makes the powder on your wig run. And don't even get me started on those noisy cannons. I don't think you're taking this seriously. There is nothing I want more than to stand next to my brothers in arms and catch lightning bugs. Just let me bring a blanket, a basket of shelf, oysters. We can be in the middle of croquet when they arrive. They will never expect it. I see you're compensating for fear in the face of outnumbered odds. I weep for you, soldier. We all know the horrors of war by now. Yes, it is terrible. Sometimes your hands get somewhat dirty. Or when you are sitting at the wartime picnic table with your friends, but you cannot remember your past friend's 11 kids' names, and you spend the whole time thinking about it, and then you miss out on everyone's stories about their life lately and their kids' names, and then you don't know what anyone's kids' names are, and you will look like the biggest idiot at the next governor's palace bow. Hey there, it's all right. Did you bring him? He showed up on his own. Excusez-moi, I have a name. The Marquis. Marie Joseph Collier, Rose Gilbert de Mortier de Lafayette. The Marquis de Lafayette, yes. I would also like to bring a ham. No, 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 no. I'll bring my ham. Oh, I love Virginia ham. Lafayette, do you actually have any of these things you're talking about, or are you just talking about bringing them? I brought nothing, except for a couple of things. What? I brought 5,000 French soldiers across the sea, and their fleet of French warships. They're packed in their bell over there. We will have the enemy still around dead. Marquis, remind me to name some streets after you. General. I will bankrupt my country for you any time. We're going to need more cheese.